Okay, so we just added um, network image, basically image support to uh, the Austin Feeds Me Android app. And now that we've done that, we can now load a specific image for a um, event. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make sure we can get the image for our event from Firebase and that we can get the image URL actually for that event from Firebase and then we can load it for each list item. So um, the core of our app is an event that we're going to be working on today is an event list view. And right now we're kind of just getting it looks like four different fields from our event and our events um, node in Firebase. And then we're creating what's called an Austin Feeds Me event. So it looks like we're going to have to modify our, our client side model as well. So let's go into Firebase and see what our model is like. Hopefully this will work. I noticed that Firebase has had issues with Firefox. Uh, and you can see that they have some responsive issues. The go to console link was hidden when I had it collapsed. So we'll give this a second. We've got Austin Feeds Me up here. Let's go to our database. And this app is an open source, the Flutter version, but the Android version is. I'm looking to open source this, but I don't know how to, I don't have a good strategy for externalizing keys right now. So once I have that, then I'll work on um, um, getting this up so everyone can see it and use it. So it looks like we've got a nested object here. We've got a group and then a group photo object and then a photo URL. So we're gonna do some manual parsing for this. And what we're going to do is we're gonna make our Austin Feeds Me event on the client side a lot simpler. We're gonna do this like photo URL and then we're gonna put in here, we're gonna put a final string photo URL. So right now we're modifying our Flutter data model for an event, our model object for events. And something made it angry already. Um, so I'm thinking, what is this saying here? Okay, okay, so we need to have a comma. Flutter's very big on commas, so if you have an issue, most likely it's a comma. comma. So here we can see that basically if our item is a food item, well, basically, if the key, food key is true, which means that this event has free food, then we're going to grab some keys, key values, some values for these particular keys, and set them. So we need to set our photo URL here, right? And our photo URL is going to, going to be, and I, I messed up right here, my comma action needs to be here. Nope. So let me go back here, make sure we get this right. Okay, so <coughs> we're inside our instantiation of our object. We're gonna do photo URL and we're gonna do data key and it's a nested object. So we actually have to do data key and I'm not sure how well this is going to perform because we just introduced this key value in our data model on the Firebase side so we might need to put a null check in here, but we're gonna just go ahead to begin with and try using it without putting that null check. And here's what our app currently looks like. We're grabbing basically a random image and showing it for each card, and we're gonna make these cards prettier, but this is just to kind of proof of concept. You can see if we click one of these, it'll load the event details in Eventbrite or Meetup. Those are our two data sources right now. And it'll take a while to load, but it'll eventually load. So we're done. So we're going to grab, it looks like we need to grab the group key. And then from that, we should get back another object. So we, we might make a method for this. That's like get, get group or get uh, event photo. So how would we make a method in Flutter? 
it looks like we've got the return type, and then we've got the method name. So we're going to go get group or get event photo URL. And what are we going to pass it? What, what are we actually working with here? It's going to be a data snapshot item. Snapshot. I like to name my uh, arguments the same as the data type. And so we're going to pass that and we're going to call it, you know, we might just call it data to follow the same format. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the group object. So let's let's create a another data snapshot, and we're going to call it group object, and that's going to e equal data key and then group. Okay. Apparently, it doesn't like this. The operator. So what is data then? We're going to find out what kind of. It's just a var then. So it's a map. Okay, so we're working with a map here. And what kind of map are we working with? Dynamic, dynamic. So let's see if we can actually do that here. Excuse me. So it's still upset. Undefined. Undefined name key. So do we need to name this key? I apologize. This is my first time to do this. Ah, so we can pass it a data snapshot, but then we need to get values from it. Okay, so let's back this out. So, but then we go data.values, and then we do can we actually do a key on this? Can we do group right here? We can. So now we've got our group object. Now we need to get our group photo object. Group photo object. Equals group object. And I wonder if we can just use the key here. I don't think we're going to try. Nope. So let's make sure we're doing this right. So up here we get a data snapshot, we grab the keys. So those are going to be our items. And then we iterate through the keys. And then if one of them is food, then we grab the basically, so I'm pretty sure we're on the right track. We'll, we'll know soon enough. We'll put some debug printing in here when we fire it up. And now we're going to do string photo URL equals group photo object equals equals group photo object and we're going to get the photo URL okay and yes 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 we need to do So our data object up here is already a snap dot value. What we're doing is we're instead of instantiating a var for our data object, we're just calling it directly and we're gonna be able to tell pretty quickly. Making this method will actually help us out if we have an issue. 
because we can put some null checks, some intermediate null checks here. So we're going to return the photo URL, and we're just going to assign the photo URL like this. And we'll just pass it data. And this is angry. The name parameter photo URL is not defined. So let's go back to Austin Feeds Me. What do we call it? We called it photo URL. Oh, okay. And I guess we need that then. Hold up. So we're going to do event.add. Why is this one upset? For var expected to find. So let's line this up. Okay, so we need one more, and now we're solid. Okay, so let's run this. And you know what? We're going to print out photo URL here if we make it that far. Let's run it. Let's go to our logs. Actually, we can't use logcat here. And we've got an issue here. Dynamic is not a subtype of data snapshot. What? So do we, if we, what is data here? It is a map, dynamic, dynamic. So we need to actually pass it the actual snap. Or can we pass it What if we pass it group? What does that return? So if we pass it the group node, will it will it build it? No, it still won't. So it says no such method. The getter value was called on null, so we need to do a null check. If data equal null return, and we might have a default um, URL that will return, and maybe we'll have like it might say meetup, maybe the meetup logo. If okay, so it built. So now let's see, and it's running, and we've got the over scroll. So now let's see if we can actually load our URL for our event here. So let's do event.photo URL. Let's build this. And we should, whoa, things went bad. Exception, no host specified in URL. Okay, so if we don't, so basically we need to have a default URL for our image loading utility. So we're gonna take this random picture URL and we're gonna say if it's null, we're gonna return this random URL. So 
So this is how we're look. We're basically creating an image object. So we're calling image, and it's an image widget most likely, and it's a stateful widget, and it has a static method or perhaps a constructor. I'm not sure how they refer to this. It's probably a static method uh, that takes in a URL as well as some other parameters. And so we saved it, and we'll see if this works now. We should have some dynamic images. Sometimes images take a little while to load. And I'm not seeing any right now, so that's not necessarily the best news. But I wonder if it's because we have cached data and we didn't construct the URLs. So let's try. So we're going to have to debug this because we're not getting any photo URL objects. And I'm quite certain there should be at least a few in here. <sighs> okay, so let's put in a debug statement here. And let's see what we're actually passing into our... How do we debug it? Flutter app? That's a good question. Where is our debug? So let's look that up really quick. I've never had a debug. I thought I had it work. That working earlier. Debugging Flutter apps. That's not the best information. We're just going to need a debug print. Let's check it out. But what about Android Studio IntelliJ? So it's got a little bug thing, but I don't have that bug icon. What if I expand this? Do I get the bug icon? I don't. What if I go over here? Run debug? There we go. Okay. Crisis averted. But why didn't it hit my breakpoint? Let's try it again. What if I don't want a hot restart? What do you think about that? Let's stop and let's debug from scratch. Because we should be hitting this. So it's launching in debug mode. So we I don't think we we're in debug mode earlier because we didn't launch in debug mode. Unless it's always in actually we probably were. I think these it's a debug version of the app, so we were definitely in debug mode. So I'm thinking that we're always passing basically. Oh! Oh 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 oh. Bad mistake. Here, this is what we need to do. We need to do data key because we're we're taking our data snapshot and we're grabbing the key for that, which is an actual event, and then we need to pass that in the group. Uh, excuse me. So let's debug this again.
performing hot restart. Let's go! Come on! What's taking so long? Let's stop. Let's debug again. I want to make sure that we're passing something meaningful to this get event photo URL. And so I want to make sure that the data snapshot we're passing, and if that's indeed what we're passing it, is something that we can parse using this setup here. And I want to build offline support with SQLite, so we're not always... Okay, so data is null. Is data ever not null? Let's, let's wait till we get a data that's not null. So our data is always null for some reason. Because we should be seeing some of these icons should be actual valid group photo URLs. Okay, so why is our data always null? Maybe it's because we're using single quotes. Probably not. But let's stop. Let's play. Why is our data always null? So name, time, description, event URL. Name, time, description, event URL, so there should be a group node under here. And when we grab the data for that key, so we're gonna grab for the data in that snapshot, we're gonna grab, we're gonna take that and we're gonna grab a key from it. So let's see what a key will return for our We've got some interesting stuff. So a key is going to return data for the key. And that object is going to be a map. But it looks like it can always so be also be a data snapshot. So we're running that same issue. So basically an internal link hash map is not a subtype of a data snapshot. But I don't think we can pass in a map dynamic dynamic here. You can try it. The getter value isn't defined for the map class. So that means we'll have to do data like this. But I think we're gonna run into the same issue where it's going to say data snapshot is not an instant of map dynamic dynamic. So now it says no such value method. So we're going to need to do uh, what methods do we have on here? key and values. So if we use it up here, we can do values.key. I don't think this should matter. No such method. So there's no such method value. Oh, so we're getting null. The getter value is called on null. Which could be true. There could be a bunch of group photos that are null. So we might need to bomb out here and say if group photo object equal null and we're having some duplication so we're gonna have to make this turn default image. We'll make this default image. And I know we're made instantiated so we probably want to set this constant on the top but this is just uh, dead. We probably want to make a method that's like return 
default image, and it just returns whatever the default image is. But we're just experimenting here, and apologize, but so same issue. Basically, data snapshot is not. So we can do map dynamic dynamic. And I think if we've gotten this far, then we should have a photo URL. I don't think I'm putting any images on there that don't have a photo, or any objects in there that don't have a photo URL. And I need to make sure that, that we're not populating with bad data. Do we have any custom images yet? No, we don't. But let's debug this and see Let's put some checks in here. Let's see if we ever get this far. And I think we will because and we didn't check our debug statements. But we could have checked. So I imagine a lot of data is going to be null because many of our objects don't have, or they all should have actually a group photo, group object. So let's, but let's wait, figure it out. Okay, Xcode build done. And we're basically making this app so that we can offer an, an iPhone version, iOS version of Austin Feeds Me. So our debugger is connected and we should get our data back so default image, so it looks like group photo object was null here. Group photo object null. Group photo object null. So I'm wondering if we ever get back to where we can actually, so now we've got, we got past this, so, and our group photo object has a size of one and it's got photo URL. And we actually have a value for it so we should be returning photo URL so we've we've had one success state and there we go we can see that we're now loading the group the event you photo for this the correct event, event photo for one of these op, for at least a couple of them so here's another one down here so it was really a mistake in our parsing logic And I don't think I store whether something is a meetup object, a meetup event, or a Eventbrite. And that might be good because we could put Eventbrite or meetup. But let's make kind of the icon that we've been using throughout our app is like a pizza icon. So let's take a pizza icon and add it as an asset to our app. So I've got another app over here we've been working on, NBC Series 100 Series 0, and it actually has assets. So we don't have an assets directory yet, but we can make one. Let's get this out of the way. Let's make an assets directory. Hopefully this works. Assets, and then we're, let's, we're gonna take an icon from the Android app. So we've got awesome feeds me up here. So we're going to basically take our launcher icon, if we can find it, and copy it in our assets folder. So let's put this in the Android view. Resources, drawable. Where is our icon? Is it in MitMap? We need to delete these. These are old. You should be cleaned up because I don't think now maybe we do use that pizza icon. But where is our here's our logo? Okay, so here's our logo. We're gonna copy this and we're gonna copy it into assets. So let's copy it into assets. Okay, boom. Yes. So now we need to figure out.
how to load basically so if it, if we don't have an image we will want to use a file and I wonder if we can use an, how we load an assets file image so I know we're using some in here in this app so let's let's do a quick search for image nope let's see if we can find anything where do we load images I know we load images in this app in supplemental. So is there anything image in here? And we'll close this app for now because it's gonna take up resources. Size box product card. Product card does image dot asset and then we pass it in an asset name. Asset package equals shrine shrine images. And how do they specify? So we need to update our pubspec.yaml to use a local file. So we'll need to do assets.diamond, but ours is going to be assets.iclogo or something like that. Okay. And we need to flutter, uses material design true. So we're a little bit out of place here, so we're going to move this up here. Assets. And it's going to be iclogo.png. PNG. Let's save it. And now we need to do a check, and basically our default URL is going to be empty. And we need to do an empty check. to see if we want to display a network image or load that PNG. So how do we do that? If there's a way to do these checks in line. So we can do like event.photo URL Is there such a thing as textutils.empty for Flutter? Let's check. That's on input field. Let's try this. Boom. So why is this thing upset here? Dead code. How do we encapsulate this? If we wrap it in a... I've seen them check and use dynamic widgets before. Sorry guys. Here we go. Child. I am maybe we can't event sat in is empty.
Okay, so the return, that's where we're messed up. So if the event photo URL is not empty, we return a network image, else we're going to return image is not empty. That's better. We're going to return image file. And let's check our other project. How are we going to do that? So let's search in our project image.file. I guess the search doesn't want to work, man. <laughs> so it was in product card. Here we go image.asset. And we need to do package. I don't know if we need package since we're going to be in the main package. It'll tell us. And I'm not going to. We'll keep, we'll specify. So let's see if this even works. We're kind of doing some crazy stuff here. Cowboy code kind of stuff. So for some reason, oh, because we didn't regenerate our data model. And this is never going to be empty because we didn't ever make it empty. So we're doing a quick build here. Okay, that's enough of that. I said a quick build, but it's not that quick, is it? Okay, that did not work the way that I thought it would. Uh, the following assertion was resolving an image codec. Unable to load asset IC logo dot PNG. Asset bundle dot dart. So the bundle was null and the name. So let's go to our other project and see what we missed here. So asset name is going to be id.jpg. So we can see that we probably have a bunch of assets in here. Uh, and the package is shrine images. Let's go to our pubspec.yaml. Maybe that will show some insights. So we've got assets. How do we use this one? How do we use the diamond one? Maybe that will show some insights. So we use diamond in... I think it's in backdrop.dart. In our backdrop title. So let's look for diamond. So image icon, asset image. Okay. So I wonder if we can just pass this. Fetches an image from an asset bundle, having determined the exact image to use based on context. So I wonder if we can pass it an asset image. And it looks like we might need to include the full path here. So can we do an can we pass this an asset image? So 
So it looks like it tries to create an asset image using name, bundle, package. New image.asset, and that looks like it's all we have to pass it. So let's go to our image.asset. Image I don't think that we should okay, move this, try to do the most simplest implementation. I see logo.png. But we've got no width and no space. Now, of course, we never really found the value. It's unable to find IC.logo. If we do assets, does that work? That works. So for some reason, we had to specify. And that doesn't match the rest of our color. So we actually need to make like a pizza icon that matches this background this lighter blue background. So we'll work on that, but we can see that we're able to dynamically choose which icon to show. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to work on our map support. So we're using a library from Google that's not fully done. It actually doesn't work that well right now on Flutter, but there's another library called Flutter Map um, which I like to use. Um, so I think that's going to be the next thing we work on. So, and then the other thing, one of the other things I want to do is to make it so that, so this is like July 8th, which is Monday. I want to make this so it's like Monday, 3.45 p.m., Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then if it's over a week, we'll show like July 12th or etc etc and we might show it underneath the title because this like halfway title doesn't really work that well it just doesn't look right um, but the next thing I want to do is get our maps working and I want to have it so that our maps uh, when we click a marker icon that you have a view page here just like the Android app where it highlights the current uh, map item that's been clicked but that's how we. That's a quick intro into how we can pull a photo URL from Firebase and load it in our um, app. And I can post this code if anyone would like it. You can tweet at me at where is Darren, or message me any other way. You can find out how to get in touch with me, and uh, I'll be glad to help you out or give you any of the source code that uh, we have worked on today. Uh, Never forget to um, commit your code. For some reason, our assets directory is not in there. Okay, there it is. Add event photo support. And one of the important things about developing new skills is to just work on them. So I highly encourage you guys to just start working, even if it's like five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day, but to just take a little time each day to work on whatever you're trying to learn and get better at it. Okay, thank you.